on Pine Top and today we are going to show you what we can cook or not cook. Our emphasis today is on quick and easy shortcuts. I'm going to start off by making a quiche and the reason I'm such a good cook is <laughs> Instapie crust. Instapie crust. Go to any of your stores, find the little box it's in, pull them out. You'll have two rolls per box. Let it sit at room temperature about 10 minutes. It's easier to enroll, and then you won't rip it to 1,000 pieces. Do they come They come frozen, right? They're in the frozen section, or are they No, the, the, this kind, you find over, like, where you find the biscuits and the already pre-made cookie dough. Okay. So we're not using the frozen pie shell, although you could use that. Oh. So we're going to start off by letting Cheryl hold this in her two hands delicately. Oh. I'm just going to take a little bit of cooking spray and, <laughs> and <laughs> no, apply it Is to... Is that how you put your makeup on in the morning? <laughs> oh. Is, this it off? Is this part of a facial plan? <laughs> <laughs> and Cheryl is going to delicately place that into Rika's beautiful pie Am I going to kind of pat it down a little? You can do whatever you want, Ooh. sister. Okay, and then I've got... Two, four. I've got six eggs that I'm going to just crack and put in this bowl. She's going to put the egg parts in the bowl. The egg <laughs> shells will go in a separate bowl. You don't need egg oh, shells in this quiche. I mean, I have a trick though too. If you, you know, if you're cracking eggs and you get shell and the egg, I always just always whip it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Make it crunchy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Um, and you know, you always use your finger. You try to get that out. But if you use the egg, egg shell itself ah. and you try, you know, you you. Get, dip it in there and you get it out. See. Could you demonstrate, please? Let's see if that works. Okay, see? Look. See I'll, if I do it with my finger. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait. Like, ah. <laughs> can't get it out. But if I use the eggshell, I can get it out. So, well. <laughs> in a perfect world. <laughs> On someone else's oh, picture, yeah. you can get it out. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, On with the cracking of the eggs. Oh. Holy smokes. Okay, what do you have there? Right here I have pancetta, which is an Italian bacon. Usually you find it and it's peppered, so it has a little bit of a spiciness, but it, it's no, not, it's not hot. This one is not peppered because you, you can't see any pepper flakes okay. in there. Okay. So we're going to cut this up. What if I can't find that? What do I do? You can find this at uh, okay, Safeway. Well, what if I don't? I don't you can know. use Canadian bacon. Okay. You can use regular ham. You, you can, can use, use regular. Bacon. Oh wait, I know what we can use. Whatever uh, wait, hot wait, desire. Wait. There's a super special ingredient that I personally like to have in as many food dishes. We as can I only can. have something to whip those eggs in. Oh, weenies! <laughs> <laughs> don't try that at home, people. <laughs> okay, okay, what am I doing with this? Thanks. You're gonna whisk it up, Cheryl. There's a cup right there of um, cr heavy cream. Yeah, so we can reach across, yeah. Okay, so I'm just whisking. I'm delicately pour it into the eggs. Woo! Okay, okay, what if I don't have cream? What can I... Do I have to have cream or can I use a little bit of milk? I, I've or? used milk. Yeah. I've used even This um, just makes 1 it richer and it makes creamier it and more fattening. Okay. While Rika is whipping the eggs in the cream, I'm going to take the pancetta over to the pan. Okay, so if you don't have cream, and we're just trying to do stuff that it, whatever you have in the refrigerator, that way it's quick and easy, and you don't have to go to the store to do anything, you know, buy all these special Fancy. ingredients. <clears throat> add some salt and pepper. Go real light on the salt because we're going to add cheese to it. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. And we just have sea salt. You can use regular salt. And then um, some pepper. Fresh ground pepper. Uh, just charge. Yep. Okay. And just do however much you want. Um, if you have red pepper flakes, if you want to make it kind of spicy, whatever, whatever you have your in heart the house. Desires. I always use leftovers, and my husband thinks it's the most um, fabulous thing in the whole wide world. You want to use red pepper flakes? Yeah. Okay. She gave us this. I guess that means use it. Okay. Did you put your um, nut bag in? No, oh, she's not She's going to do that right now. Cheryl's going to um, take some fresh, fresh nutmeg. nutmeg. And Which I don't know why they jar it like this because one of these will last you till the forever. dinosaurs roam the earth again. Yeah, I have no idea why they pack it that way. So I'm just going to basically grate it. What's this little tool this called? This is called a microplane. 
And just be really a careful that you don't um, get your fingernails and give yourself a manicure at the same time with it. And then that makes just really kind of brings out the flavor of everything, just and enhances actually, it. I use nutmeg when I cook seafood. If maybe I'm doing a, uh, an Alfredo too, I always use fresh yeah. nutmeg. It just kind of brings out all of the flavors, gives it a really, really Savannah, good Savannah, can flavor. we add this cheese now? Or yes, this add? is a white, sharp cheddar cheese. You, of course, can use a yellow sharp cheddar cheese, whatever, whatever your know. cheese is. If you're a Velveeta kind of person. Oh. Probably not Velveeta. Oh. That would be good. Yeah, Velveeta that. would be good. Whatever. Anyway, the, this is a, almost two cups, two cups that she's going to put in there because okay. we're all about the fat in this family. I know you probably can't tell that on camera. Yeah, because the camera makes you what? Like 20 pounds lighter? Yeah, than you are <laughs> yes, life, so. exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to add the cheese. And Savannah, um, after, do you let that pancetta cool it off at I'm all? I'm not going to. You're just going to throw it into the mixture? Yep. Are you yeah. going to throw it into the, in, uh, okay. So are we going to make our, let's make our crust a little bit presentable. Kind of pinch the edges. Ooh, so pretty. it looks fancy. So then the neighbors don't know that it's a store bought crust. Right, exactly. Because you don't want anybody to think that you don't really know how to cook. Or and Savannah, you know. we don't have to pre bake the, the pie shell, right? Nope. Okay, so what temperature is your oven on? Rika, can you read that? <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Savannah does not have her tricocals uh, on. Let's see. Do you want it, what do you want it on? The 375. What do you okay. want it to be? All right. 375? Yeah. Yeah, okay. my oven, you know, it kind of... Oh, uh, 380. 380 doesn't want to 380. do 380. Okay. So I'm bringing the pancetta that we just, you know, fried up lightly. We're not going to drain the grease off. Why? Because there's fat and grease and we want to keep that. <laughs> because uh, the flavor mm. is in... The fat. The fat. <laughs> it's not, not really it. cooking light or anything like that, but... Okay, and then we're going to add so that in the shell. Good. And then, Savannah, how long do we bake this for? It's probably going to take, I would say, about 45 minutes. Okay. Sometimes more, sometimes less. You just have to keep and an eye on stove. it. It's mm -hmm. kind of humid today, so it'll probably take a little bit longer. But anytime it's rainy or humid, anything that you put in the oven is going to take she longer. She knows that because she's looking forward to it. And I'm a fabulous, you know, person. She went to the CIA, the Culinary Institute. <laughs> I don't think I so. But anyway. <laughs> Um, the one thing that yeah, <laughs> that I like to do besides spilling the quiche before you get it in there is take a little bit of the pepper and salt and just put it on wow. the top and only it's for for like a garnish for lack of a better word it just gives it. Oh, a little what if bit I wanted to put onions or where's my basil? <gasps> well, you didn't tell us to add basil. We didn't add the basil. We're so gonna take a little bit of basil and just chop. Chop it up finely. We're just going to sprinkle it on the top. My knife would be. There's a little knife there, Cheryl. Sure, let's see what you it's can do with that. Very good. Mm, nice. That smells good. It does. But you can add parsley. You can do see, anything. You don't have anything to this. If you forget things, you can just kind of, you know, it, like we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of learned that from my mom. We'd forget things. She's really good. I don't know. She made muffins. <laughs> 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 And the muffins. Sorry, Mom. We, we told good. your secret. <laughs> they were really good. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put the quiche in, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to make a quick salad to go with that. Yummy. Now we're ready to make our quick and easy salad to go with our quiche. And let me just tell, show you this, this great thing. It's called a salad spinner. This is the best Ooh. thing next to a toaster or a microwave. And what it does, you can put your does it do my salad. laundry? So, mm, oh. No. Okay. Put your salad in here, and you're going to give it a spin. And Silviata's never seen this, so this is her first quest of using. So, and what we're going to use is just a mixed spring of salad. So that we bought at the store because not everyone has these pretty plastic containers <laughs> in their home. We freshly picked it and packaged it. Okay. How much? That's good. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to do? Well. One to grow one. I say, you know, that's good, and she just keeps adding more. <laughs> so you're going to give it a rinse, and then you're going to put this plastic piece back into the bowl. This and is not very much salad. You'll be fine. You'll For be fine. one? No. Yeah. Okay. No. You don't have to shake it. That's oh. the whole point. Oh, it's okay. a salad spinner. Now you put the lid on, and all you do is you push that little black thing several times, and it spins around. Oh, and see what it looks like. Oh, the water oh, you comes can't even tell. Exactly. Woo! This or, if, you're a, if you don't have a spinner, that's you can use loud. a colander. Okay, okay. that's 
And everybody hear Cheryl over that spinning? <laughs> Take it down a notch. <laughs> and this is the off button. Oh. oh nice. My oh. husband wishes oh. I had one of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> or happy that salad that you have okay, over there. Okay, what, what am I doing? Just a minute, just a minute. Or if you don't have one of those spinners, you can take the good old kitchen towel. Give your salad a little shake and a shimmy. Put it in the towel. Do we have to wash the salad? Well, even you know. Already? Isn't that pre-washed? And yeah, but you should still. Put it in and a then just kind of mm. shake it around. And make sure you're cooking with somebody so you can give them a little spritz while you're at it. So, you can dry it that way. But that's okay. just a nice little fancy gadget. How do you open it? Um, then you just <laughs> release it. You can spin your salad, but you can't get to it. And take the lid off. Oh, okay, so what else we're adding to the salad? We're adding cranberries. We're adding walnuts. And we're adding a pear that got out. to our oh, salad. Sorry. As well as some blue cheese. And it's just going to be a nice light vinaigrette with balsamic, olive oil, salt and pepper. Okay. Just real, real easy. And while you do that, Rika, I'm going to cut up the cheese. And I'm using a blue cheese. You can use a gorgonzola cheese. What is that? What's um, the difference between blue cheese and gorgonzola? I just lost my ball. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <laughs> it all has mold on it. And this has a wax, wax wrapper. Okay, how much it. oil am I doing? What um, am I doing? You didn't probably like uh, half a cup, I would say. <laughs> you might be there a little while with half that. Half a tablespoon. cup, I <laughs> just eye it. Tablespoonfuls. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, Savannah, why do you I take. Was, if I was my mother, I would know how many tablespoons were in half a cup, but. Well. And we wouldn't be adding any sugar or anything, so. Yeah. You can just. Why don't you. Uh, Take this cheese and we're just going to crumble it into the salad. It's kind of creamy. Your fingers are going to get dirty. Woo. And we're just going to crumble it This is one of the around. times you get to play with your food. Yeah. More cheese, please. Is there a trick so it doesn't stick to the knife like that? Um, or is there You could really probably run it underwater. I mean, I don't know. Or add fat by spraying some <gasps> kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. There okay. you go. Then and what am I adding? Salt and pepper to this? Salt and pepper. Is it supposed to be that dark? Do I need more no, oil? No, you need to put a little more oil in okay. there. I like a lot of balsamic vinegar. I need, okay. There's a towel right there. Now I'm going to take the pear, cut the pear up. This is a real simple salad, really fast. Sister, what is the... You know, when you're cooking with balsamic vinegar as opposed to regular vinegar, is, there's a little more sweetness. I think it's sweetness. Okay. Yeah. Has much more body to it. Can I add the nuts now? You can add the nuts. You can add the cranberries. I'm gonna try to cut this pear up without cutting my fingers. Some off. cranberries. Ooh. And I didn't wash my knife, so there's you know there's cheese on the knife. It's all right. It's all going. Do to you just thing. leave the slices like that, right? I do. Okay. Instead of chunks. Do you want me to mix and then put that on on top to make it pretty? Make it pretty. I think that's what we'll do. Too. I like that salad because there's more stuff than the Lettuce. salad. Yeah. 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 And you can okay. add any version of it. You know, you can put anything on it that you want. Mmm. Oh, I wish we had some bread. Um, mm. Didn't think about that. Great, that Cheryl. That would be good. Cheryl um, ruined the whole cooking show today by yeah, not having bread. So, yeah, you're going to... All you're going to think about now is that you don't have any bread Bread to, to go with your salad. Great. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, okay. I'm done. Okay, as soon as the pears are on, you're going to pour on, Rika. I don't think I should use all this, though. It's too... And it has a nice tartness because of the cranberry. Why don't you put that bowl of pears in there? Well, this is this will be good with the Oops. with the quiche. Got a little that's bit a lot of. I think you think that's enough. No, mm -hmm. I'll probably Wasn't eat it you one. Just said? <laughs> you have more. Hey, but look at all that. Just put just it. Just add it on there. Oh Do we God. have anything to mix with your hands? hands? Not with the vinegar. Oh. Um. Here, I'll get you some. Ta-da! Okay, the magic a television. <laughs> I'm just going to mix it up. My messes. And I think you okay. need more, you more vinegar. Well, let's anything? try. Hold on. I don't just think so. Know. I do. It's not covering every piece of lettuce. Well, well I think it, it doesn't good. have to be drowning in yeah. dressing. It could be drowning yeah, dressing. Maybe just put it on the side and dip it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's good. That's fine. Okay, so we have our quiche in the oven. We have our fabulous, easy salad. Of course, if you don't, whatever you have at the house, just throw it in there. Um, the balsamic vinaigrette with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, that really just kind of, it's different, you know? Normally you just usually use the red wine vinegar, but the balsamic yeah. vinegar really Sweet. brings a different flavor to it. So, what we're are we gonna, gonna do next? We're gonna make a fruit tart. Cool. Very simple, very easy. 
We have our quiche in the oven, we've made our salad, and so now we're gonna do a really quick and easy dessert. It's just a basic fruit tart. tart. And um, if you have time, you can make everything from scratch, but we're doing it so you don't have to cook. So real food. people can cook. <laughs> So everything is just quick and easy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, what are you doing? I'm just going to the pie tart in. <laughs> we don't need that yet, yeah. ma'am. Put it down. Um, we're just using simple sugar cookie dough, and Ooh, Cheryl's okay. going to roll that out. And Savannah so has little pie... Uh, Careful, that bottom comes out. Yeah, the oh, bottom no. comes out. Little tart pans that she's going to put it in. If you don't have these at home, it's no big deal. You can just use a pie plate or a cake pan, whatever you want to use that you can um, make sure you do it really well on the corners though, so, so that way it'll come it'll out. It'll comes out. Because well, what happens... Better. That's my yeah. thing. I think I should have that so. <laughs> Roll, girl, roll. Um, How so big am I making these? Yeah, you want to make it, you're going to make it, like if you're doing a pie, you're like, there we go. Like. English language. Sorry, Mom. Um, you're going to roll it out big enough so it's going to cover the sides of the, of the uh, pie pan. So okay. Cheryl actually has, sh she's got powdered sugar, and um, maybe you should put some powdered sugar on your, oh. on your um, yep. she's already ruined the yeah. pre-made cooking great, lovely. Crust. So I'm going to get the fruit out of the refrigerator while they're busy doing their thing. Trying to roll this Our out. Our fine task. Oompa loompa. Now, uh, Rika, you give me wax paper. What am I supposed to do with this? Put it on this thing. Uh, Cheryl, do Wait, you have wax paper for? Because, <laughs> what'd you drop? <laughs> Hope it wasn't like an egg or anything. We have a little bit of a blueberry <laughs> problem. <laughs> Half the tart filling is on the floor. <laughs> we won't be using that for this show, folks. We could wash it. <laughs> Look at her. She thinks she's a uh, Rika Ray over Rika there. Rika Ray. That okay. famous one that knows how so to carry okay. them all without So dropping. I made this. It should fit. Okay, so we've got blackberries. And strawberries. So you're gonna put and this into that and kind of. But all over the floor. No, I've got more. Oops, my crust is breaking. Oh wait, I don't. Okay, that's all right. We'll just make it with what we have. Sans blueberries today, folks. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, now put that into there and kind of pat it down. Don't press I'll it gonna... into the fluted parts or just press no. it to the bottom? Yeah, press Cut it all to the, the bottom. You've got to press it in all the way. I'm going to get another one won't. ready since we're making so many. It won't, um, it, it it won't, won't make, make the design? Shape. It won't okay. Make shape. okay. So I'm just taking my berries and I'm just going to I'm just gonna rinse them. And, um, I'm Minus gonna, the blueberries. That are on the floor. The blueberries are all over the floor. So girls, don't back up. Yes. Squish! <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not wearing um, white. Just yeah. step on it and it will spray everywhere. Oops. No. Kind of like that powdered sugar I just did. <laughs> oh, um, well. So with my berries, my strawberries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off. I'm going to cut the top off so that I can place it on the pie tart so it'll be stable. And I'm just going to throw them here in this cauldron so I can just rinse them off really quick. Oops. If you notice how beautifully I put the curls inside this fluted pie shell, but then you pie shell? <laughs> That's a tart, tart pan. <laughs> tart pie, you know, you might not have a tart shell at home. You'd have to use a pie shell. And then poke okay. it with your fork on the bottom. Okay, here's also, another one. Also, um, when you bake it, the, the, cookie, the cookie dough is going to rise up, just like it does, you know, your cookies rise up at home. So either you can either um, put some rice or beans in the bottom of the pan, of, on top of the dough. Do you want to show them, Savannah? There's a bag of rice right okay, there. Okay, as soon as I do this one, I will. Um, and I didn't do that when I made it. Actually, what I did is I just took a dish towel and I just kind of pushed it down. That way, you know, you don't have to have everything all fancy dancy. Just use whatever you have. So how? All right. So how are you guys? Do all right. That's enough. Because oh, nice fingernails in the pie crust. And you're going to be able to tell when I poke it. So uh, I'll just, let me just finish this one. Okay. There you well. guys. Come on, girls. You're not really keeping up very well. I have yeah. two ready. I have okay. a slow roller. Well, and these are every shape except round. But it doesn't really matter because you're cutting off the excess, right? Right. You're just going to cut okay. off the excess. So what you'll do is, once you get your, your crust in the, you in the pie pans like that, you'll put them in the oven and you'll bake them just like the directions say on the package for the, for the cookie dough. Oh, so you pre-bake these? Yeah, okay. pre-bake them. 
So what does that say here? Read it. Oh. It's either 350 or 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. You're just going to watch it. You're going to let it Here, let me show you a trick. Bit. Take just this. Like, and you go like that. And Whoa, see? It pulls it all off. I was a little a quicker with my fingernails. Yeah, I don't okay. think so. So, um, put these in the oven, sister? Okay. Yeah. So you're going to put those oven. Go here. Okay. And because... And we don't have time for everything to cook. I made one already. It's a landmine! Oops, I squished one. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> Clean up while seven. I made one earlier today. Show them the pan that I used. I had a big one and I used that. So basically, here's your cookie crust. It's, it's nice and hard because what's gonna happen is we're going to take, I made some. You need a spoon. I made, a, actually a spatula would be better if we have a spatula. Um, I made some cook and serve vanilla pudding. You can use the instant. Oh. Normally we just make a custard from scratch. Like I said, all of this can be made from scratch, but we're trying to make stuff that's quick and easy for you. And so show, you're just gonna put that on there. Okay. And then Sylviana, I'm gonna give you, these strawberries are really big. So I'm just gonna I'll spread this around, yeah, you're right? Kind of even, uh, even as possible. Yeah. And then, um, you need some oh, if we had some chocolate, we could put some chocolate shavings on it. You could too. do whatever you want with that. Sib, I'm going to give you these strawberries, and I want you to start putting them on there. You might need some more. Just like this? Do you want me to Is slice them in half or whole? No, no, no. No, 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 no what? Put Just them. put them upside down like yeah. this. Twink. Oh. Don't you remember the, the fruit tarts that we saw? <clears throat> no, I was, uh, I was chewing while I was looking. Oh. And if they're too big, I mean, you could always cut them, but this way they they look pretty and hurry. Do you need? I'm just trying to help. I'm doing a spinorama. Get closer. Spin spin How do you think your quiche is doing in the oven? I think by the time we get everything together, that quiche will be ready. Oh, wait, how long did we bake this crust? You're going to bake that crust from 10 to 15 10 minutes. To 15. You're just okay. going to watch it like if you were baking the cookies and... This is done. Oh, you're so fabulous. I dry those a little. strawberries? Well, let's do, let's do let's do the blackberries first. Okay, all right. So put and then the we can do strawberries. In there. And then also we're gonna top it with Standing the up. fabulous. No, um, just go right in. The sun. Already made strawberry glaze. It doesn't have to be. But you know, you could just kind of drop it in there. I am pretending like I'm a pastry chef. Thank okay. you. Yes, because she went to school for that. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have any glaze. The strawberry glaze, just get some jam, even if you have, whatever like jam strawberry you jam, have, strawberry jam, heat it on the saucepan, and, and warm it up a little bit, and then you can just put it right over the top of that. Oh, you're fabulous. Oh, look how pretty And it would have been even better if we had blueberries, but the blueberries are on the floor. Don't so, try this out. We won't have blueberries. Here, let's just put all these in there. Um, I'm going to pop uh, this in the microwave and just kind of warm it up because it's kind of gelatinous and we don't want it to be gelatinous we want it to kind of pour a little bit so I guess we could add well that's fine so what do you think looks good looks good probably is really good probably would have been really better if we had blueberries we got it and the blueberries are on the floor did you though. get a picture of the blueberries on the floor because I really think you got that picture of the blueberries on the floor I mean, that kind of just makes the whole show right <laughs> Okay, so it's in the microwave, it's warming up. And then you just drizzle that over the yeah, top of this? Yeah, you're just going to drizzle it over the top of it. And everybody's going to look at this and go, oh my gosh, you spent hours doing this. Blueberries. Do you put it back into the refrigerator so it will cool off better? Or are we ready to dish and serve? Cut and serve? Well, I think it really just depends on... Beep, beep, beep. Um, there, put it there. <laughs> Now, as you see, there's some tin foil because the oven is getting too hot and the crust is So I just took some tin foil and wrapped it around the. Oh, that's a good choice. Oh, that looks good. Look how it puffed oh, up. Oh, that does look good. Wait, wait, move. Oh, sorry. And you want to let it set five, ten minutes before you try to cut into it, or it's just going to be one runny mess. mess. So we're going to put this it This is here. kind of thick, this gel stuff, the strawberry glaze. You can always thin it out a little bit with a little bit of. Um, a little bit of water, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of plop it on there. Are you going to cut that so we can eat that? We have to let it set. Oh. Did you not hear her No, I didn't. I was busy talking about the glaze. 
That's like mm. not enough glaze for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I put some you can put more or less, okay. however you want. More is always better. Wider yeah. is better. More goo is better. Okay. Do you have any chocolate that we could like shave with the microplane? <gasps> the microplane? Yeah, let's get the microplane no. out again. No, I don't have any chocolate. Oh, okay. I do. It's in the, the garage. That way I won't eat it. So, oh. you know. Okay, Good thanks job. for being with us today. We hope to see you again. And until we do, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Thank you.